Hey YouTube land, Mel here. Got myself a brand new gun. Finally got my lever gun in 357. So, very happy. But then I went to the range and I became very unhappy. So my first shots with this gun, I'm not even hitting paper. So I take a look at the sights, look at the front sight, it's not centered. Okay, we center up the front sight. Now I'm hitting paper, but I'm shooting way right. Now, to fix that, we have to adjust the rear buckhorn sight. Now, that's the spot where we should be adjusting anyways, not the front sight. So, with these lever guns, most of them come with a buckhorn sight. Now, you're going to have a um, an elevation adjustment in this little guy that will go back and forth, which will raise it up and down, and you will have this little dovetail, which going left and right will adjust your windage. So, I have to adjust um, that dovetail. Now, to adjust that dovetail, you take the punch and you knock it over. Now, I don't have um, a brass punch, but I do have a punch and electric tape. So, put a little electric tape on that guy, put it up against our dovetail sight, tap, 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 and it's all better. Now, the next problem comes in is, how much do we adjust it? Well, here's where my little trick comes in. Now, you gotta take a measurement before and after so you know what you got. So what I do is I take the front sight and I put a little bit of floss over it, and get it right on the bead. See if we can get this guy to focus. Anyways, make sure it's going right over the bead. Now, we're going to take this floss, we're going to drag it over the gun. We're going to set it up so it's centered right across our gun. And look at that. It is now dead center of our buckhorn. Let's see if I can get this guy to focus. Oh, there we go. See, right in the center of our buckhorn. Now, do I think this is going to fix my shooting right problems? Yeah, it should help it, but I don't know if it's going to make it perfect. But at least I know how much I adjusted my sight because I took a measurement before and I took a measurement after. So, I'll see where I am on paper this time. If I need to make more adjustments, I'll know exactly what to do. Anyways, hope this little trick helps you guys in the future. Take care, all.